Good morning everyone, Itsy Bell here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do a bonus read. So let's see what Spirit wants to let you know this morning. Um, before I've even started the reading, I have the card of the past coming back. So if it is that you have been looking back at the past, wondering about something, very possible someone is coming in that you used to know. Um, sometimes this can be just bringing past experiences back. Sometimes it's like reminiscing, you know, being nostalgic, that type of thing. But whatever it is, there's a definite a definite feel on the past and then this card's come out. So something to do with your independence, something to do with where you are at this time in your life. Maybe you've been single for a while and you're looking back at the past and remembering somebody from your past. Very possible. Okay. Give these cards a good shuffle. Your daily readings are up already. I'm thinking about doing your weekly reads today, but I'll see how I go. It's been a very hectic and unusual week this week, so nice to have a, a day to chill. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's see what Spirit has to tell us here. So first card out. Oh, I've got the pack upside down. I do too. Sorry. First card out is the Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords talks about us being in a place at the end of a cycle where we have been consumed and eaten up by our own worries, fears, energies, ideas, all those sort of things. Because you know that swords represent the spoken word, thoughts, ideas. It's everything about air. Um, and the air signs, of course, are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I don't think that has a bearing on this particular card. What I'm feeling here is for a lot of you, you're at the end of a cycle. And it could be that thoughts and feelings, ideas, um, concepts, beliefs have not served you in the past. They haven't served you. They've kept you restricted and unable to do things because you felt limited by this energy. And for a lot of you today, you're about to discard this energy. Okay, this is interesting um, because you have a couple of people here. So maybe it's, um, you know, the Queen of Wands coming out here and then the Queen of Swords and then a heartbreak. So I feel like something's going to happen and it may not be today, it may be in the next few days, but somebody's going to deliver a truth to you. Now, it could be by, by one of these people. So it could be a an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, or you could actually have a falling out with these people. But whatever this is, it can't be viewed as negative because it immediately takes you out of this cycle of self-blame, you know, um, being tough on yourself, you know, living in your fears and expectations and we shouldn't live in our fears and I feel like that so it could be for some of you too you know some sort of truth coming up maybe that you haven't wanted to deal with you know maybe you're dealing with some personal truths at the moment um, things that you've hidden that past card came up before um, maybe things from the past you've never wanted to talk about or things that have held you back. I actually feel quite a heavy energy with this. So for some people, I feel like it's shedding something in their past that they may not have, um, when they may not have been responsible for. I don't know, I need to say that. It could be that something really drastic or terrible happened to you in your past and somehow or another it's being, you know, being pulled out over the next few days for you to deal with. So even this may have been horrible, I can say to you that the feeling of the Nine of Pentacles is how you're going to feel once this has all been dealt with. That's pretty heavy energy for some of you. Sorry to deliver that. There is this sort of thing at the moment because of all the, and I'm not an astrologer, but because of all the planetary alignments and the things that have been going on in the universe, a lot of us have been digging up our pasts and um, reviewing you know, our past thoughts and beliefs and the sort of things we've been told that we've lived by. And it feels to me like a lot of you, that's sort of, <laughs> sorry, they're saying the shit's going to hit the fan. 
So for me, that means for some of you that that will bring stuff up that maybe you, you didn't want to deal with and you've hidden for a long time, but that needs to be dealt with and cleared. And I can assure you with the Nine of Pentacles coming up there, it will make you feel like a brand new person. It's almost like this weight has been lifted off your shoulders. So the first card out is the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands talks about a message coming and the message could be, you know, via the internet, could be, you know, snail mail, who, who knows. But this message is a message of passion. It's about new starts. It's a, a page. So it's a very small offer, a very new offer. It hasn't really reached fruition yet, but we can see it has new growth here. So whatever it is, it has potential and it's on its way to you. So somebody's coming in to deliver a message to you, no matter which way it goes. That's what that's about. And this message is going to change your life. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune here, which talks about the wheel turning in your favour. So, you know, in amongst all the other cards that I've just skipped through, for me, this is how it feels. Like it's almost going to give you a new lease on life. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Whatever this truth is that you have to hear um, or you have to deal with, um, it, it's going to be pretty um, life-changing. That's the word they're saying, life-changing. So this Wheel of Fortune means it comes in your favour. It's something that once you've dealt with it, it really changes how you see things. And look, here you are with this Strength card. So we've got two major arcanas here. Um, so definitely sort of divinely timed. You must be in the place. You must have done the work you needed to do because whatever this is now, it's going to take it out of your life so you never have to worry about it again. Um, but the Strength card talks about facing our fears. It talks about being able to face what what scares us and frightens us and you know if you've been told in the past that you're not able to do this and then something happens that you realize how strong you are how amazing you are and you suddenly you have this value on yourself that you never had before um, and this is what this strength card's talking about you know moving forward with this amazing confidence I mean she's strangling a lion for goodness sake or cuddling a lion but whatever it is you're moving forward with this confidence that you've never felt before and look you're victorious um the Five of Swords often talks about, you know, being victorious at the cost of other things or other people. Um, to be honest with you, this does not have a negative energy at all. It almost feels like you're glad that this has been completed or done. This is how you're feeling. You can hold your sword high. You're proud of where you, what you've done and where you've been and you're ready to move forward with that. So this can also talk about conflict with other people too. But as I said, you know, the fact that these people are walking away and they've left their swords behind, that they've done what they needed to do. They've left you with the sword you needed. This truth you needed to help you move forward, they've left you with that, which is really good. You don't have to worry. Move on. OK, and then we have the Ace of Swords. So that would make sense seeing the Ten of Swords there because the Ten of Swords does talk about the end of a cycle. And then the Ace of Swords coming in like this talks about um, you know, having a brand new start. And I love that it's Swords too after that because this feels to me like you're finally able to live in your truth. You're finally able to live with who you are. Um, definitely this feeling of newness here. Definitely this feeling of, you know, knowing what you want, knowing where you're going, having the confidence to do it here. Um, very, very good card to have all, after all those heavy cards. And yes, you've brought yourself in a sense of balance now. So this balance is, you know, it's beautiful because now you feel really like you, you're you not lacking. You have everything you need. Um, everything in your life feels like it has this sense of purpose now. You know, and this card talks about, um, you know, being able to share and you know, this man is sharing between a lot of poor people here. Um, sometimes people talk about it being a lack of balance, but really, no. It feels like all of a sudden you're open now. You're open to sharing. You're open to doing things the way you need to do them. There's a tremendous sense of freedom in this balance that you have now. It's really beautiful. Okay, and then the next card is the Queen of Cups. So not only are you balanced in your physical or tangible life, but you're also very balanced in your emotions. You finally started listening to your intuition. You're, you're you know, just this feeling of nurturing and, you know, and being able to care for people in a way that you've probably not done before, but certainly about caring for yourself. You've achieved something amazing here. 
doesn't look like it was a nice thing to get there. But anyway, so in comes the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands talks about, I mean, it can be the card of the player. It can be the card of the man who's just the in and out one night stand person. This actually feels like an energy and it feels like you moving forward on things. And it feels like, like even here, you know, when you get this sort of feeling of traveling and moving and whatever else. For me, this is the card that's moving you forward. You're moving forward with passion and energy that you've never had before, this vitality. I, I feel like you've just, it's almost like you've just burst out of a skin. You've burst out of this, you know, all these expectations people have placed on you. You've just gone through this amazing transformation. And yes, it's come at the cost of having some sort of fight or argument with someone, but it's an amazing card to have here. Okay, and then we have the Justice card. So you've put everything right now. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card in this spread. Everything is now equal give and take. You are you are being very humble about what you take now. Maybe you were a type of person who didn't think you deserved before, and now you know you do. So this is a card of having a second chance at something, putting everything straight, bringing everything into balance. It's all here in this card. And then we have the lovers. Now I've got to say to you, this has come out a couple of times this morning and the lovers card is always the card of choice. Now it could be that you are now feeling self-love, which is what it feels to me. Like you've brought yourself to this place of, of self-love. Maybe through all this process, you've realized your value. I like that a lot. And I think that's why. And we have the emperor here. Yes, definitely. So it's like you've brought yourself around to this place now where you feel respected. You feel, you know, like you're in, you're able to accept yourself for who you are. You're not bringing other people's thoughts and values to the table. You know who you are. You have this sense of self, whatever this was. Wow. It really has brought you around to thinking about yourself differently. You're going to put yourself on a completely different path now. Okay. Just pull a quick oracle card because I'm a little bit over time. The messages are very easy to upload if I keep them under 15 minutes. So, Whoop. that card actually wanted to come out. It says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And as I said to you before, I feel like this is divinely guided. It almost feels to me like you're in the right place to have this now. Maybe you weren't ready to receive this before. Somebody's going to say or do something that's going to really rock your world. You're going to either have a fight with someone or somebody's going to bring a truth to you. And that card actually came out in the daily reading too. Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. And I feel like this renewal is what everybody seems to be going through at the moment. This card has come out a lot. So good luck with that. Thank you, everybody.